Hello everybody, Don here from Dead Next Play Games. We are back in Star Citizen. We're doing a slightly different trade run tonight. We're over on Clio. We're by Microtech. So we're 6k out. We start dropping speed. This was a long jump. It's like 55 megameters or something like that. So I've done the one-way trip already over here. And then uh Hopefully if this all works, we'll see the, uh, the return trip back to Port Olisar. I will have to stop for fuel somewhere. Okay, still ahead of me. Just making sure I didn't overshoot it. Turn off cruise. That might be it right up ahead. Starting to see some of the blinking lights of the landing pads. First time I tried this, I went into the wrong building, and then uh, as I was trying to get out of the building, the doors wouldn't open. And uh, so going into the wrong building and getting stuck saved me from a 30k crash. So pretty happy about that. Um, let's see. I believe it was that building that I went into the first time. So we're going to come over to... Yeah. Yeah, this one looks like the normal size trading station buildings. Yeah, stop. 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 I know I'm not parking one close. I don't care. Okay. Land. Oh. Gotta put the landing gear down first. Ah. There we go. And now we're done. Okay. Let's see if this is the correct building. So we're over on Clio at Riri McGrath. Research station is, I think, what it is. Right, Yuri. Absolutely terrible planet. You'll die if you stay outside too long. Sounds like it's about ready to rip the building apart. Where's the trade console? Airwalk. Where's the damn trade console? Okay. Uh, I'm losing my mind here. It's just a like a, a prop charging station for batteries. Did I go in far enough? That's the question. There's nothing there. Let's just look around. Looks like a workstation. Back out here and see what the other building was. What else we have around? Because yeah, I think we're at the wrong, wrong building. Sorry about landing on your landing light there. I 
took it too literally, apparently. Yeah, it is cold outside. we have here. See, that's the building that I tried the first time. And I didn't see a trade console in there either. And yes, I know I literally just, quote unquote, moved to the car. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's cold. We'll double check the temperature when I pop outside. It's, uh. Minus 93 degrees centigrade. Yeah, that's cold. See, this is the building that I was just in on the last server that went down. There's no trade console here either. I don't see any other structures that would be a building. Supplies. Where the hell is the damn trade console? Hmm. Come on, run, you bugger. Get your frozen legs in gear. You double check I'm at the right location. Uh, let me see. Because my buddy Tim gave me a, a route. Yeah, I'm supposed to be picking up a Grecium over here. But I don't see any place to interact with a trade console. there. Which again, did not see any, any indication of having a trade console in it. I'm fine, game. by the pad, where they wanted me to land to begin with. Well, there, there's nobody here, so it's not like they wanted me to land anywhere. Okay, so if you land on the pad... It's windy too. Ooh. Negative 101 Celsius.
Uh, there is another ship over there. That could not be good. Let's, uh, let's get back on board and monitor the situation. So we tried that building. Nothing. Oh, we tried that building. What the hell is that thing for a ship? Thing's got way more guns on it than I do. I think it might be that building right there. Or it could be this one. I don't know. Did I go into that one? Maybe it was the two smaller ones I went. I, I don't know. Dude, what are you doing over there? What you doing, buddy? seeing if they were trying to like talk to me or something. So they're doing some sort of runs in a constellation. They don't like that they're just sitting there. They probably don't like that I'm strafing around them. <laughs> He's got a big gun on the top. Big gun. I don't remember which which of the two buildings I went to because I didn't. I just now see that there is three buildings. Well, not just now, but as I was coming out from the the pad area. back and watch what he does. It's my first time at this station. So we landed over at that small one. tried to wrap me. Um, weapon selection. Select primary weapon. Oh, it is an armistice zone. Okay. See, it makes sense that it would be in the big one. I'm 
We're going big one. Hopefully I don't die. Well, more importantly, hopefully they don't blow my ship after I load it up with cargo. That would suck. Okay, let's see what inside of here looks like. These are the, the plant bay things. So that's got to be that other one that they went into. It's back here. So this is the first one that they came into. run over I'll probably fly over once the con leaves but the good thing is if uh, if anybody opens fire on me right now I've got nothing in my cargo hold I just have to wait like 16 minutes to get my shit back I'm here. I'm going to check and make sure that that thrust setting thing is still off. Like I said, I want to make sure that, that Connie leaves and is out of the area. Uh, nope, I don't have that saved anymore. Which setting was that? There was like a thrust limit. having to use my booster to actually get enough power to get up off the ground. Okay, we're going to turn chat back off. No threats were made in chat. No attempted hailing. Man, this planet is harsh. I know it's not a planet. It's like a... It's an orbital body around a, a larger body. <laughs> ah! Here we go. Trading console. Bye, freelancer. We want Agrisium. 50 max available stock. Don't really want to buy just 50. But I could. I'm going to check Galog again real quick. Fifty SU. Yeah, 
need a little bit more than that because I've got capital for about 240,000 on this run. Which should get me 109 units. So we're just waiting for that tick rate to go up. What do you have to say for yourself? Nothing? What can I do for you? I have no idea. What services do you offer? Uh, you got nothing for me. Is it going? Oh, I don't know. Same as any other day, I guess. Non-committal answer, you bastard. Uh, goodbye. Bye. I'll just be over here waiting. See, I don't want to load up on it yet. I mean, I could top off with titanium. Um... Preferably, I want to get around 100 units of Agrisium for this, for a max profit. If I can get, like, 100 to 102 Agrisium and then top off with Titanium, it's only like a $1,000 difference, really. About 2000 maybe. Too, SU. It went down. Nobody's here to buy it. It went down. That's some BS right there. BS. I call shenanigans. There's no windows in this part. Yeah, there's no windows out here. How are you supposed to watch your six? I can get at least 70. I'm gonna I'm gonna let the tick rush tick rate possibly hit again real quick. We go check outside, make sure there's no other ships inbound. It's only a 30 minute run to the ladder. I don't see anybody. It's freaking cold outside still. I'm going inside. That's right. Hey, it's too cold. Couldn't leave. Fine, we'll buy it. This is like half my money right here. And this is where, this is where I worry about my plan. <laughs> Because I didn't want to, I didn't want the the resources available to go down again. Like the stock available at a station should not go down unless somebody just actively bought it. No, nope, that's suspiciously the exact same number. So I know that is not the correct value. Try, we'll try buying again. Air it out, yeah. Let's try. Let's try thirteen. No thirteen. Let's try six. Let's try one. No, they are completely sold out. So what we're going to do is we're going to top off with titanium and then just get the hell out of here. Because I have already probably pressed my luck longer than I should have. 
typically these type of runs you want to have like uh, somebody doing escort in a uh, in another ship or have gunners in your ship like uh, I was gonna do anything stupid with that constellation because it's got some big guns and it's a multi crew ship so ideally they have people on the guns I don't We got to go back to Port Alsar. Actually, we have to go to here for gas. That's where we got to go first. Flying like a brick right now. Like I landed at Moorville earlier, and <laughs> it said I was uh, thrusting, but I was not. I was. I was totally not. Give me an obstructed warp point. You shouldn't be able to do that. Uh, we can get to probably crew L five, maybe. Yeah, we got enough gas for that. Give me an obstructed warp point. I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. Oh come on! My finger slipped off the B button, so instead of initiating quantum travel, I stopped quantum travel. I despooled my drive. Okay, on one. Which way are we going from here? Down and left. Obstructed. Obstructed by what? <coughs> Ooh. Sorry about that. You're not obstructed by anything. Clear route. Set route. Get out of the seat. I don't like it when it does weird stuff like this, and I have a lot of money wrapped up in cargo. You're not obstructed. Holy shit balls. have enough to get there. Barely. Let's clear my route. What else we got here? Navigation computers going absolutely freaking bonkers.
you're killing me, game here. You're, you're absolutely killing me. I have a feeling it's going to say obstructed. No, you're not. Still 30, 30 jump, so we'll have. I mean, we will have a bit of reserve of fuel. I'm gonna hop out of my seat and check the uh, curb and. Metals, that's our titanium. See how much the agrisium. Uh, actually, agrisium might be in the same containers. Same overall look. It appears to be so. Yeah, so it looks like we're just moving all of that mineral ore. Started this trip with. Let me pull up my totals. Because uh, again, I'm tracking some of this stuff just to find out some like different trade runs that have good profit margins and everything. Uh, so minus the expedite fee that I had to pay on my uh, get my ship back from the 30k error before I started recording, I had roughly 238. No, sorry. 248,000 credits. Uh, it was probably a little bit more than that, but I'm rounding it down just because I can't remember what it, it was at the absolute beginning. And now we're sitting at under 90,000. According to Galog, I should get a profit of hopefully around 50,000. We'll see. But that was also based off the fact of getting uh, at least 102 Agrisium. So this is going to be this is going to be slightly lower profit because we have higher uh, we have higher titanium, which isn't the greatest profit. There's shorter runs I could have done this in for titanium based stuff, but we'll see what happens. I mean, we still got like 60k worth of titanium in here. Uh, we can we can sell that at not a terrible markup. Cooling down. Now, hopefully we don't get the bug of uh, not being able to refuel at the r, &R station. Usually you can. It's usually like Port Alisar. It's the picky little bastard. What is up with this quantum drive tonight? I'm scared the server's going to die at any moment. <sighs> You'd have to give me this crap after I'm loaded. There we go. Usually you can just like hop in and out of the seat. It's a little bit harder if you're in a single seater. Uh, it doesn't have like a enclosed cabin. Okay, where is the station? I am not seeing it yet. Melodic Fields Station. Circle down and get that sun underneath the visor or the dash. Now I can kind of see the station. I think. Nope, maybe not. 
see that. Looks like the station's right there. Let's see if we have. We're probably still far, too far away for landing control. Yep. Zip in a little quicker and start rolling off. Sun. Oof. Quantum fuel nineteen. So yeah, if we if for some reason we cannot refuel, we are literally stuck here. Because we won't have enough fuel to jump anywhere else. But the other ones that I wanted to go to that were closer kept saying that they were obstructed when they weren't. How far away is the station? I can't read that. Yes, I know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna warp to it. Actually, I'm just checking the distance. Can I reach landing control yet? Yes, I can. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Oh, that's gonna suck. I cannot see it. Let's go around wide. And we'll come in from the side. That's probably the better plan. There we go. Now I can see what the heck I'm doing. Still on the other side over there. I know I'm going over over other people's pads, but I don't care. I need to land. Nobody's here. Space break. Which I didn't know of for the longest time. Still have my cruise control on. That was almost bad. services. Now we just wait for him to tell us that we are fueled. We can get our next stop queued up, which is going to be back to Port Alsar. Crusader, Port Alsar, where are you hiding? Okay, so we technically have enough fuel already to make that, but I'm just going to top off. 
I paid for it. I'm gonna get it. Okay. I like to be queued up, spooled, and ready inside of the armistice zone. I don't like to get outside of it, especially around Port Alisar, because people like to troll at Port, at Port Alisar and like shoot at you when you're on the station. So it's just a habit. I'll, I'll usually like get into quantum travel as quick as I can, either coming off the planet or. Uh, I mean, I've, I have yet to run into actual player character pirates. It'll happen one of these one of these days. So with fuel, we're down to. Woo! 89,734. Okay. It's one thing I don't usually keep track of very well is the amount of fuel cost. Because that does eat into the profits a little bit. Probably fairly negligible, but you got to account for it if you're trying to get the... Now, the big downside with this one is we hit the tick rate. Uh... The server was a little bit buggy with the uh, the quantum drive, um, and this is a long, long jump. So there's a lot of downtime in it. So, because one of the things that I'm trying to figure out is cost per, or basically profit per hour with the least amount of downtime. Because even if you do. Uh, like higher quantity of shorter jumps and you can get them all done at the same time and they're lower risk then even if it's at a slightly lower profit per hour mark it still could be beneficial because it hurts a lot less if a 30k hits you and you got like 12,000 credits worth of cargo as opposed to we've got uh, I think it was like 160 160,000 something like that it's a lot I've got the vast majority of my my uh, entire livelihood and uh, accumulated wealth at this point wrapped up in the supply run. And we're getting the stupid issue of the warp drive not... I keep calling it a warp drive. It's a quantum drive. Warp drive is a completely different IP. It's not even warp trap, it's quantum trap. But everybody's just so used to saying you're gonna warp over to someplace else. Put my gear down on approach. services. Please proceed to sign landing back. I'm going to try a slightly different approach. So that way I'm not actually going over anybody else's pads. 
Actually, I think we've got the outside pad right there. Oh no, we've got the interior one. Because I think what they technically want you to do is come in like vertical. I think they want you to come in this way. So this way I'm not actually over anybody else's pads. Let me come down. I am not obstructing anybody else's pads. I'm in my own box. Yeah, the shenanigans. I am crooked. Very, very crooked. Now the good thing is, uh, my cargo should have a save state in it right now because I have landed at the station. And I have seen, I have seen that if you request landing services, you may have that save save state with the servers if they crash. Okay, let's see how much profit we make off of this one. That was a long, complicated flight back. So, we're going to sell the titanium first. We're going to sell that for 65... Okay, so about 5,900. Roughly. And... We're going to sell the agrocium. And then I'm going to have to bust out the calculator. Because I'm not doing that math in my head. Not even going to try that. So, with the calculator, we started with... What did I say we started with? I don't remember what I said we started with. Uh, two, 249.521. That's the last figure, 249.521. It's the last figure that I have written down. So, what are we at? 271-009, 271-009, 271, minus, we had 249, 521, 241, 521, 21,488, and Galog was saying, whew, yeah, we, we lost quite a bit of overhead with having to fill up on that much um, titanium. Because we, we got less than 50, so we, instead of having the profit margin mostly from the agrocium, we got the profit margin mostly from the titanium. But it was still, still pretty good profit. Um, it was 21,488, and it took roughly 49 minutes. Another route that I did that was selling diamonds and scrap between, um, uh, what was it? It was Tram and Myers uh, on Selen going to Lorville CBD, and then Lorville CBD back to Ollie with uh, scrap. And that one netted, I did the computation on that. I'm just gonna look it up real quick. That one was actually a quicker run and Where was it? Got 24,000 out of that. Um, and it was fairly straightforward. Uh, I mean, I hate landing at Lorville. Especially with those stupid little 
like pathways you have to go through now. Um, but I mean, if everybody's doing it, there shouldn't be any in air in air collisions or anything. But I'll get used to it. It's it's new, so I'm not used to it yet. That's pretty much it. Okay, so not quite as profitable as the night as I wanted, but we're still nearing that three hundred thousand mark. Uh, so we're getting there. The uh, the next ship is going to be a ways off because that's going to be well, depending on if the Star Runner is available anytime soon in the three point eleven patch cycle. It says it's supposed to. Uh, and depending on if you can buy it in game, because you cannot rent a caterpillar in game, so you have to straight up buy it, and that's like 4.2 mil, I think, or it might be 2.4 mil. Either way, it's way more than the sub 300,000 that I have, and that's the next ship up for cargo. So basically, I need to have enough capital to buy the ship, and then to actually fill the cargo hold. So. That's that's the struggle that I'm at right now, just grinding out the uh, the capital for it. So I'm gonna end it here. I'm Don from Dad and X Play Games. Have a good one.